Keep an eye on Brandon Lemke in the seventh spot. Hometown kid knows how to show up at the very end of the race. And the green flag is out into turn number one. And it is going to be your pole sitter, Austin Jers, out in front. Right behind him, uh, Alexander Kardashian, the winner from yesterday, slots into P number two. Yeah, Kardashian with a nice little jump there to get in line. They're still side by side for fourth. Steven Dial on the inside. Tristan Farber on the outside. Farber gives way. And Josh, uh, Jeremy Fierk there right in third trying to hang on as it's a big gap beginning for the top two to get away. That's not what the guys behind want to see. Here they come through turn number nine. Austin Jurors, Alexander Kardashian, and again a big gap on the opening lap around. Down into the hairpin for the first time as your leader of Jurors, followed by Kardashian. There's the rest of the field. Lemke making a move on the inside of what looked like Levy, making up one more spot, and everyone else is somehow – Gotten down to single file, but there's a the top two making the way across the line to complete lap number one. 13 more laps to go. Jers leads. Looking inside turn four. Dial is by. Farber is by. Here comes Levy on Fierke. Can he get through? As one more getting knocked off the racetrack there at the end. Levy can't get by and goes to work on his fellow Cart Republic driver. And through turn number eight over to nine. Levy can't get through. He's got to worry about Lemke behind him, so Aiden Levy needs to get going if he doesn't want to have any more we got a couple drivers in the back off the racetrack way off on the side austin jurors and alexander kardashian 1.2 seconds and growing on the field here last time by farber was a little bit quicker than the leaders but now he's going to lose the third spot to Stephen Dial, who goes back by him into turn number four. At the top of your screen, Kardashian appears to be catching up to the back bumper of uh, Austin Jerz to make the way across the line. There he is within about a, with less than a quarter of a car length separates the two of them. The last time by was about one-tenth of a second as to make the way to turn three. If he is being a little inconsistent, look for uh, Kardashian maybe to get a little impatient to want to get out in front and try to defend here as it's going to be six laps to go this next time by. There he goes. You called that one perfectly, Caleb. Alexander Kardashian to the lead. Now here's the group, fourth, fifth, sixth. Tr Jeremy Fierke has gone by Tristan Farber. Here's Lemke. Look at that move. That left rear tire nearly knocked him upside the head. Into the top five for Brandon Lemke in the middle right Merlin. Jers or Dial could have a shot at knocking off Alexander Kardashian. Austin Jers, big run through turns one and two. Four to go. Yeah, last time by, uh, Dial was about a tenth faster two out in front. Here's a pass for the lead. There goes Jers. It's going to come down to Jers versus Kardashian. What can Kardashian do? Austin Jers looking for the first career senior victory in the Route 66 Sprint Series. Defends the inside nicely. Into 12. Blocks it low. Kardashian finds Ole. Gets into him. Runs him wide. Here comes Steven Dial. And back goes Austin Jers to fifth. White flag in the air. Dial looking to the inside. Kardashian blocks it into one. He blocked it. And then he went wide. He's now wide, loses one, two, now three. He's going to tuck in right behind Lemke. Lemke in third. Here comes Jers to get around Lemke. Lemke's going to have none of it. Drops a wheel. They're three wide heading into turn four. Jers not able to get the job done on Lemke. Here comes Kardashian back on him. Dial just got a block. I didn't think Steven Dial had anything close to a chance. But Alexander Kardashian went low, got sideways, missed the corner in one. He's still digging on Jers. Wheel the wheel with him into turn number nine. Jer's going to force his way back through. He's got a fight for fourth. This is going down to the wire as Steven Dial just has two corners to go. Fastest driver doesn't always win the race. The nice guy doesn't always win, but today he will as they battle back for fourth. Steven Dial will win on Sunday in KA Senior. And across the line, Austin Jer's hangs on for fourth. And another lesson, maybe, whatever you want to call it, Austin Jers comes away with a top five. At least he gets Kardashian beat. Kardashian ends up in fifth. I'm sure a little bit of frustration for the 931. But Steven Dial gets the big time win here today on Sunday 